SEO is one of the most powerful tools in online marketing, yet a lot of people don't do it because one, they either think it's too complicated or two, they're put off by the fact that it might take a lot of time to see results. But trust me, if you have a bit of patience, it's going to definitely be worth it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of things that you can implement to drastically improve your website SEO. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set this up with Go High Level, but these strategies will work across whatever platform that you use. The reason why I like Go High Level is because Go High Level has a ton of website templates that we can go off of, and that's just gonna make our lives a lot easier. Also, we can go ahead and white label their platform and make their entire software platform our own. So that's just a bonus. So when we sign website clients, they're going to be logging into our white label software, not go high level. So if you guys also want to use go high level, I do have an exclusive 30 day free trial link down below. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. And now without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing that you want to make sure that you do is have a Google My Business profile. So if you're doing this for your business, make sure you create one for your business. And if you're doing this for your clients, make sure that they have one as well. And you don't just want to build a basic garbage listing that a lot of businesses will have, because if you do that, it's going to be very hard to rank on the first couple of pages of Google. And that's the whole goal. Customers will only interact with businesses on those pages. So when you're doing this, make sure that you fill out all the information, you add your business name correctly, your phone number, email, your website. And then as a bonus, you want to make sure that you're posting content on your Google My Business profile as well. As you can see here, this business is consistently posting on their listing. And this will just tell Google that you're active and Google is going to reward you. Also by having photos, customers will just trust you a lot more and they're going to know that you're a legit company. Now, if you guys are using Go High Level, we can actually use their platform to post content on our Google My Business listing automatically with their social planner. So if you're using Go High Level, I recommend that you use that tool. Another thing that you can do to make your listing pop out is by enabling messaging. As you can see here, this business doesn't have this enabled and most businesses don't have this enabled. And this is going to be a very simple thing that we can enable. And again, we can do this with Go High Level. So if I just come over here inside of Go High Level, let's say that I'm working with this roofing company right here. All I would have to do is come over here and click on this button. And this is going to enable Google My Business messaging on that listing. So customers can go on my listing and start sending messages directly through this listing. And each message that a customer sends, you'll be able to see right here in this conversations tab. And this is a good thing to enable for yourself or for your clients because we live in 2024 and a lot of people prefer to just send messages. A lot of people don't want to get on the phone and talk. So just by having this option right here, customers will like you a lot more and you're going to be able to collect a lot more leads off of your listing. Now to create a Google My Business listing like you see right here, it's going to be very simple simple. You can just go to Google and search for Google My Business and you can just click on the first link right here where it says get listed on Google. And the next thing you want to do is just go ahead and create an account. And this will just take you through a sequence of steps that you have to go through to set up your Google My Business. And it's just going to be basic questions like your business name, phone number, website, etc. So if you or your client doesn't have a listing, just make sure that you take time to do that because it's going to be very crucial that you do. Because by having a Google My Business listing, you're going to be more visible in the search results. So whenever someone searches for roofing companies near me, there's going to be a better chance that someone can find you. And if you have a really good listing and you have a lot of reviews, you're going to rank on top and start getting organic customers. So now the next thing that we're going to do is jump inside of our website builder and just set up a couple basic things that will drastically help our SEO. So let's just go back inside of go high level or wherever you want to build your website. So now that we're inside of go high level to boost our website SEO, we can come over here to sites and then we can go to websites. And let's say that this is our website right here. We can just click on it. Now, if you really want to have good SEO, it's probably going to be best to have multiple pages because each page can target different keywords, making your site more likely to be found in the search engine. And this means you'll have more of a chance that people will find you. And this will create a better experience for your customers. And this will keep them on your website a lot longer, which search engines really like. Also by constantly adding new pages or updating your pages, this is going to show search engines that your site is active and relevant. So if you have multiple services, you just want to make sure that you have a page for each of those services. Also, it's probably going to be best to have blog posts on your website as well, which I'm going to show you how to do later. But for right now, let's go ahead and edit this home page. So this is just a website template that I'm using for an example. But of course, you're going to want to make sure that you fill out all of this information, you update all of the content, etc. So assuming that you have all that done and your website is all ready to go, the next thing that you want to do is come over here to where it says SEO metadata. And you just want to click on that and you're just going to want to fill out all this information right here. You're going to want to add a title, a description, and it's going to be best to add keywords. Now, if you don't know what to put in here and you don't know what's going to be best for the search engine, we can use another tool to help us out because it's very important that we try to rank for keywords that are less saturated because if we're trying to rank for saturated keywords, it's going to be very hard for us to compete. So let's go ahead and use another tool for this. So guys, the tool that we're going to be using is called searchatlas.com. Now, this tool does cost money. I think it's like $99 a month, but you do get a seven day free trial. So if you guys are doing this for your own business, 
business, you guys can quickly sign up, set everything up, and then if you want to, you can go ahead and cancel. But if you plan on doing this for your clients, it's probably gonna be best to just pay for this tool. Also, this tool is really cool as well because you can also white label this platform. So what we wanna do is just come over here and we're just gonna wanna search for our niche and then our location. So for this example, I can do something like this, roofing Las Vegas, and I'm just gonna go ahead, click on search, and this is going to take us to a separate page. So let's just go ahead and wait for all this data to load. So as you can see here, this is first going to tell us our keyword difficulty. And for this keyword right here, it's gonna be very hard to rank for. So that's not good. Ideally, we want this to say easy. And then if we take a look over here, we have a decent amount of monthly searches. So that's good. And then over here, this is going to tell us our cost per click. And that's going to be $15 a click if you guys were running Google ads for this keyword. But you don't have to worry about that if you're just focusing on SEO. And then right here, you can see the historical search volume. So as you can see here, this is very consistent. And right here in March, for some reason, there's a lot of searches for that keyword. So for your keyword, you're going to want to make sure that you have good search volume. Now, if we come over here and we go to where it says related keywords and we click on view all, since that keyword that we searched up was ranked as hard, we can go ahead and niche down and try to find a better keyword that's less competitive. As you can see here, we're going to get a list of a bunch of other keywords that we can potentially use. Now, when looking for a keyword to use, you're going to want to make sure that your keyword difficulty is below 20. That's going to be ideal. And as you can see here, all these keywords right here are below 20. But not only that, you're going to want to make sure that your keyword has high search volume because if people aren't searching for your keyword, it's really not going to matter if your keyword difficulty is low. So let's just go ahead and choose one of these keywords right here. So let's go ahead and use this keyword right here. So as you can see here, this keyword is very easy. So what I'm going to want to do now is just go back to go high level and right here for the title, we're just going to add that keyword. So I'm just going to type in roofing Las Vegas Nevada. And then what you want to do now is just add your business name. So I'm just going to do five star roofing. So again, this is our keyword that we want to rank for. And then we're just going to add our business name right here. And now for the description, we're going to want to add a really good description. And we're going to want to implement both of these words. We're going to want to use our keyword in the description, also our business name. Now, if you're struggling to write a description, you can simply copy this right here. And we can just use ChatGPT for some help. So I just went ahead and said, write me a unique meta description for my website. Make sure to use this somewhere in the description. And then I added my keyword, roofing Las Vegas, and then the business name, five star roofing. So I'm going to click on enter. And just like that, ChatGPT will give us a good description that we can use. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. And then we're going to go back and we're just going to paste in this description. And you are going to want to make sure that it's less than 155 characters. So you can just go ahead and tell that to ChatGPT. And now over here for the keywords, this is where we want to add relevant keywords to our niche. All right. So I just went ahead and added a couple keywords that we can use. So let's say that this business right here's main focus is to do roof inspections. Right here we have roof inspections. Las Vegas, Las Vegas Roof Inspection Services, Affordable Roof Inspections Las Vegas, and so on and so forth. You want to make sure that these are relevant keywords to what you want to offer. And it's also going to be best that these keywords are untapped. So now that we're done with all of this, let's just go ahead and click update SEO meta. So now that that's done, there's a couple of things that we can do on our website. So the first thing that we can do right here is have a really good H1 header. So for this header, if we come over here, you're going to have a couple header options. And it's going to be best to just have one H1 header on your website. And this is going to be key for SEO because your H1 header will tell the search engines what your website is about. It helps search engines understand your content and this will improve your chances of ranking higher in their search engines. And this will just overall create better structure for your website, helping both users and search engines to navigate your website. So for this header right here, we can do something like this, Las Vegas roofing company. So it's as simple as that. We're pretty much going off of our keyword. So if we go over here, this says roofing Las Vegas. So over here is pretty much the same thing, Las Vegas roofing company. So now if we come down here, we can go ahead and add an H2 header. And we can do that by clicking right here. And for this header right here, you can make this related to your keywords. So over here, our keywords are mainly focused on roofing inspections. So you can say something about that right here. And again, if you need help writing content for your website, you can just go to ChatGPT and ask it for some help. And then you can go ahead and continue doing that for the rest of these headers. So guys, the next thing that we can do to boost website SEO is by creating blog posts. Now, don't worry, you're not going to have to do this all manually. Again, we can use searchatlas.com to do this for us. So inside of Atlas, if we just come over here to home, we can search for a niche right here. So I'm just going to type in roofing and click on enter. And now to get some blog post ideas, we can just come over here to this section right here that says questions. So let's just wait for this to load. So here we go. We're going to get a ton of questions that we can use to write our blog post about. So if I just click on view all, so here's a list of blog post ideas that we can use. And again, we're going to make sure that our keyword difficulty is fairly low. So if we just come down here, we can write a blog post about this, how many bundles in a square of roofing shingles because the keyword difficulty is very low and there's a lot of search volume. So let's just go ahead and copy this right 
here. And now what we're going to want to do is just come up here and go to content. And we can just type in a bunch of keywords that relate to this. And then once you're done doing that, you can go ahead, click on create article, click on write with AI. And then it's going to be best to fill out some of this information right here. And then once you're done playing around with these settings, you can go ahead, click on generate AI content. And now all we have to do is wait for this to load. And Atlas is going to write this blog post for us. So here it is. Here's our new blog post. Now we can just go ahead and copy this entire blog. Once we have that copied, we can go back to go high level and we can go over here to where it says blogs. And then right here, we can create a new blog post. So right here, we can title it. And this is our title right here. Next, we can add a cover image and a description. And once we're done with that, we can go ahead and create a post. And then what we can do is just do control A, delete all of this right here. And then we can go ahead and paste in our new blog post right here. And there we go. Just like that, it's that easy to write a blog post in like two seconds using Atlas. Now, if you don't want to use Atlas, you can also use ChatGPT and ask it to write you a similar blog post. But now that we have a blog post, we want to add this to our website. So we can do that by clicking on continue. And then we just want to go back to our website, click on our website site, edit our homepage, and then we can just go anywhere on our website and add our blog posts to it. So let's just say we want to add it right here. We can just go ahead, add a new section and then add an element. And right here, we just want to find blog posts. And just like that, our blog posts will appear on our website. And this is going to drastically help improve the SEO of your website. Because if someone's searching up something that's related to roofing, you're going to want it. So they click on one of your blogs to learn more about whatever they searched up. And this is going to help you build traffic on your website. So this will show the search engine that your website is active and that people like it and that it's serving a functional purpose. Therefore, you're going to get rewarded and you're going to be ranked higher in the search engine. So guys, those are just some simple basic things that you can implement to help improve the SEO of your website. Now, if you want to go above and beyond, you guys can use this reputation feature that Go High Level has, and you can use this tool to start racking up reviews on your Google My Business listing. And the more reviews that you have, the more Google will reward your listing. Also, if you're doing this for your clients, you guys can hook them up with your white label software and you can just do the same thing. And then one final thing, if you go over here to where it says activate EX listing, this right here will get your business listed on multiple different platforms. And so also make sure that your information information is correct and consistent online. So your business name, email, phone number, website, all that information is all synced up and it's all correct. And the more places that you're listed, the more you're going to get rewarded and the more people are going to be able to find you. So if you want to activate this, this will cost you like 20 bucks. But with your white label version of Go High Level, we can actually resell this for however much that we want. So right now I'm charging $49 a month. So if my clients wanted to activate this, they would have to pay that fee. So if they do want to do that, I would be charged 20 bucks and then I can pocket the difference. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. Now, there is a lot more when it comes to SEO, but if you just do these basic things, you're going to be ahead of most of your competition and you're going to start building your SEO little by little. And you're definitely not going to regret doing this. So guys, if you want to use Go High Level to do all of this for you, you guys can go ahead and check out the description where I'll have a 30 day exclusive free trial link. Also, if you already have a Go High Level account and you want access to a library of premium snapshots, that will pretty much have your clients all ready to go in no time. You guys can go ahead and check out our snapshot vault down below as well. And then finally, if you got some value from this video, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.